Okay, so so whenever I say highly during the show, I'm actually saying highly. I'm not talking about being high. Yes, he is. <laughs> and I can imagine he's probably saying something back that I cannot hear. Okay. You, you won't be able to hear him at all. No. Really? Unless I grab that other earplug. No, you won't even be able to hear him with the other one. So I got both of them. I got two foods for us. Perfect. We got it. Hit it. Dude. Okay, so we're already we're already we're already running. We're running. So you tell tell me when. www.thevoicesofthepowervoices.com here, Jesse Terrero with you. Uh, hit that button there, buddy. Okay, you got to hit that button there. Okay, get all those buttons going. All right, you got all those buttons going. You're a button man. Yes. Here, let me handle this. You handle that. You sure? Get you your sure? hand off my thing, man. I want to put my See? hand on your thing. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, Here, right. let me put my hand on your thing. <laughs> the reason I look this messed up is because you changed the studio location. I was halfway across the other side of freaking town. Hey, uh, can we do this? Tomorrow? I've already promoted it. Oh, so have I. Uh, yes. Can we meet somewhere else? Oh, well, I'm sure. Great idea. <laughs> Sure, not a problem for you, Jesse, the world. Yes, I normally you. look like an insane madman driving in from freaking Hell's Angels. Well, you know, I was like 85 miles north of this place and it got a car accident happening. Oh, well, look at he's yes. one of those. Yes, I am. We'll talk about that in a second. I figured you'd notice that real quick. Oh, hell yes. All right, I got to do my intro yes. here. W Who the w hell are you? I'm going to tell you in a second. Oh. ThePowerVoices.com. www.thepowervoices.com. We are all over the place I today. Did. We are in Burbank, California, Toluca Lake. We're in between Starbucks. Wow, look at people Bowl. That's right. We got people already wow. chiming in Hi, between Bob's around. Big Boy and uh, Starbucks. We're right in the corridor here with great reflected light to make us look so beautiful and right because we are tight. We're hot body Southern California style. From the community to the world, on the air and everywhere, it's Jesse T. The Brown Beauty is back on duty with you. Remember, you can download our free app for Apple and Android, The Power of Voices. Go check it out. All these wires going everywhere. I feel like I'm, uh, you know, wire man. Look at that, look at that. You're looking a little wired for I am show. wired, I'm wired and I'm hyped up because I got this guy here. I'll tell you who he is in a second. A shy, uh, quiet first, guy. You no, know, first I gotta figure out who he is in a second here on my uh, iPad. Because yes, quite can. frankly, I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. I just picked him up off the street here. Right. But here, 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 here's what it is. Uh, we got a great show lined up today, but still, you can chime us in on the radio if that's all you can do right now at www.thepowervoices.com. We are uh, we are all over everywhere. You can catch us on IPTV, all your IPTV devices, uh, wherever you're at. Now, for those of you who can do the visual thing, we do the radio and the visual thing. Look at all these things. Oh, you look so pretty. Thing, yeah. It's a visual thing. More visual thing. Yes, he, I, he, he, man, that's how many prisons yes. he's <laughs> okay. Mental institutions. Oh, that's he so, mental from. institutions. Okay. Oh, yes. So here we go. Uh, uh, we're on facebook.com forward slash uh, Jesse Terrero, uh, ABTV Live, the Digital Broadcasting Network. We're on the Power of Voices, facebook.com forward slash Power of Voices. We're on UPeak, we're on StreamUp, we're on Livestream, we're on YouTube Live, we're on Instagram and Snapchat, we're on www.thepowervoices.com, and we're on www.aventertainmentlive.com. And I know you got some stuff going out. Well, I'm also running streaming on all my channels. Yeah, too. well, go give you all your channels oh, out Jesus, real quick. That could take a lifetime. Oh, uh, they, give me 10. Live Video Inc. Uh, on Facebook or social media, Kurt Kelly, Disaster Relief Inc., we're at this rainforest, Vimeo, Vimeo Pro. You just so, Google Kurt Kelly, you'll find them. And that's it, man. So we're here, we're broadcasting live. We want you to chime in. Our Facebook crowd is starting to chime in here on one platform. We don't have all that access right here when we're mobile to talk to everybody as they uh, get interactive with us. And uh, But uh, hey, it's good we to do, have We do, we just don't feel like doing that much work from a remote site. Let's yeah, that's right, you know. Right there, 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 we got, there, we got there. it everywhere. Okay, now. We could. Look, I'm going to do a little quick little political thing real fast okay. and uh, real fast. Look, Me, the you know, everybody knows I'm a Trumpster. Everybody knows I vote. I'm going to vote You're for Trump. Trumpster? Yes, I'm a Trumpster. I'm a Trumpster. I got a Trumpster everywhere. Oh, that's why he wears yeah, a hat. It's that's not right. real hair. That's it. Oh, come on. Man. Look at that beautiful <laughs> hair, man. Look at that flocking Southern yes. California hey, this is real hair. real hair, too. Yes. Also, Donald, this is what real hair looks yes. like. Yes, okay. Anyhow, 
You know, look at down normally. Look at look at. You know, I am it, it, for all intent and purpose. As you know, I'm it's a protectionist. Of the evils, right? I am a protectionist, hardcore. I always have been. I'm an imperialist, hardcore. I always have been. I'm America first, America all the way, hardcore. I always have been. I've always been Thanks, that right. way for as long as I've ever known. I believe in America. I believe in Americans. I believe the, believe in the legal right of a sovereign nation. I believe in having strong borders. I was very mad at Reagan when he did the amnesty thing at the end of his thing. I was very mad Don't at Reagan Star Wars. when he did NAFTA. He broke the back of the evil empire through through the, the Star Wars thing. They couldn't keep up with dollar for dollar. But you see, here's the point: we got to do something with our immigration problem. And if you if you and we go, need to stop lying. if you go, it, it doesn't matter. I, it doesn't. What matters is we got to do something because what has been done in my lifetime over the last 50 years is nothing. And I've seen neighborhoods as a real estate broker working in Southern California for 40 years, walking the streets door knocking. I've seen neighborhoods destroyed by illegal immigration. I've seen the gangs, 18th Street, MS-13, so uh, uh, I mean, and it goes on and on and on. Destroy neighborhoods. I've seen I've seen what it's done. Uh, at the at the at the street level to neighborhoods that were very nice. He's confused by our government putting crap on the streets, it, which is a whole other conversation. That's a whole other conversation, you know. But the point is, we're the biggest drug we, transporters. Oh, CIA planet. always has been. But the point the is, that, absolutely. The point is, we've got to do something about this illegal immigration now. We're reviewing his plan. We're going to do more of this on Monday. Hold it. Is that judge a Mexican? What's that? Yeah, I don't, come he may on, be. Come, come on, on, no. Here's it has the nothing point. to do with race color. It has nothing, it has nothing, no, it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Okay. You, what? This wall, you're talking about the wall? Yeah, I'm not, I, look, as far as I'm concerned, they can build a wall 400 feet high. Well, by 400 deep. feet deep. Well, okay? but we tunnel five miles deep in both I know, but, cities. Yeah, but I know that. There's a dumb underneath bases. The DUMB bases, the deep underground military bases, under Denver International right. Airport. Plantex. Come on, under Denver, Denver International Airport. Plantex. Okay, there you go. They're there's, all there. There's a city here's 60 the miles point. wide. Here's the point. We've got to do something about our legal immigration. You can't come to this nation. I don't care from Russia, Mexico, Yugoslavia. I don't care from Australia. I don't care from Saudi Arabia. I don't care if you're from the Guinea Islands. I don't care if you're from friggin' uh, Somalia. You can't come to this nation illegally. You've got to come with legality and that's the bottom line so or, we have to do or something or if All you right. do be ready to pay the consequences because there are well they're not ready to pay the consequences because they skirt the law and they kill people they try well, to they come here and get jobs illegally and, and they put other people out of business that are working hard trying to get those jobs and, and don't tell me the falsehood don't tell me the falsehood the americans won't work because they won't do those jobs. You know something? I cleaned toilets for a lot of years I with my do. grandfather. I used to clean windows like this behind me. We're in here at Starbucks, you know? I used to come and do these places with my grandfather. So don't tell me we won't work. You want money, you want food in your refrigerator, you will work. We gotta get rid of unemployment. We gotta get rid of EBT. We gotta get rid of welfare. And we gotta get rid of illegal aliens. That's the bottom line. Okay, now, so much more political statement. Well, the reason why I have him here today Kirk Kelly. Kirk Kelly has been around for a long time. You can IMDB him. He's got a list as long as your left arm, but not as long as my right arm. <laughs> That's only because he didn't publish the rest of it. Oh, okay. Thank I you very much. I just found like five minutes Darn it. up yesterday. I thought I had one up on you this time. Okay, so anyhow, he's been a producer, a writer, director. He's been an actor. He's been a voiceover specialist, a radio personality. I know him from the radio business for a long time, and, and uh, he's been around the country. He's also been a political activist. He's also been a community activist. He's also been an activist for the world, global affairs. And one of the things that, that I really like about Kurt Kelly, as you IMDB him right now, one of the things I like about him, he's, he's very cutting edge. He's very cutting edge and out of the box in terms of how he logically puts things together and, and just doesn't fall for the storyline that's in front of him. He digs back behind there and says, you know, what are they really doing? What are they really saying? And he's not afraid to get out there and walk the walk and talk the talk. The guy's had his challenges with some powers and authorities and, uh, you know, to say the least. <laughs> that's an understatement. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'll let you speak to that, yeah. you know, but... But, According you know, to the CIA, it's worse. He's like me. You know, I fight human trafficking. I go out and Dude, I face a pinch with my 45. Happened. You know, I do those types of things. I have for 10 years. You know, I fight that stuff. But and he's been out there too. So I wanted to bring him on the show because there's something that we can all agree to here. Yeah. And that is, we got to do something about keeping our planet alive. 
Oh, you mean global warming is not a Chinese myth to undermine American business? Well, you know, there's a lot to say about that. It's but, actually a, an American myth. We started in the CIA, but, but it's actually real. But, but, it's all, not a myth. but also, the, the planet does warm and does cool by mm. itself, naturally. So but there's a lot of natural aspects. It's like a in car it. engine. Mm -hmm. Your car needs gas and oil and antifreeze and all the things components to run right. So does the Earth. It had all this stuff in it for centuries, and as the plates get less and less gas, oil, water, and fluids, the shale against shale starts to spark and builds up molten lava and heats the earth core. Not to mention the pollutants we're putting on the planet, and don't forget our landfills. But you know, the there's toxins. an argument about the pollutants. All the, all the human beings on the planet Earth, if they were put together, polluting the land like they are polluting the air, how much would they pollute and how much would they not pollute? Well, do they work for Eli Lilly or Dow Chemical? It depends on who the people are. If they work for, you know, Monsanto, where we can grow something once and never again from any of the fruit from it, and we have genetically modified fucking, I mean, everything. Honestly, part of the obesity and the cancer and the all the things is not only the GMOs, the it's all the toxins. The, chem, the chemtrails all the chemical, in the air? The chemtrails in the air. The, dirt the, the stuff that we use plants. in the United States right now to fumigate people's homes. I am a victim, and I refuse to sign the waiver, of actual toxins that were used in World War One and Two: Methyl bromide and chloral pyrimide. They're using it in the air They still right use now. it in homes today. And they put it in my house, and they didn't look at the frickin' carpeting and, oh, it has real foam rubber, it's not, that's fine. That's Google, I'm on their beta testing. Google, right. seriously, when people see how many times, unfortunately, Google Play services have stopped, they would realize that the beta shit is vaporware and the stuff they're putting on their phones is worse. Oh, I'm <coughs> sorry, did I say that loud? Uh, I do a lot of technology stuff. I actually help pioneer, if you research deep enough for those who want to dig into my deep anal cavities of history, um, have invented and pioneered a lot of technology. At age six to eight, I actually had the FBI show up at the house and take away my radio stack stuff because they didn't want somebody rewriting the Library of Congress at my age because I thought it was too convoluted. And so I hacked in. Now, realize this was also in the 60s, so it was harder to hack into stuff like that. So um, I did graduate high with honors. I do believe in that. Are you doing something near me that you shouldn't that be That smell? Oh, yes, I have a license for this. Oh, okay. It's my medicine. Oh, okay. In fact, I was showing this as we are going on the air. Oh, okay. You missed the, the marijuana man magic party when well, they were th gifting. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's on me. Thank you very much. No, he hasn't invited no, I don't do any of that stuff. No, no. None of it. He's Never. He's straight as I am clean. Iron. Toxic free. Really? Yes, I am. But see, so am I. I'm yeah. not putting in chemicals. I'm putting well, in I, natural I, herbs. Here's the point. I'm using herbs. Let's talk since about I got natural herbs. herbs. Since I got off the chemicals, the 14 bills a day right. in the past year, right. look at the pictures on Facebook in the last year. You've seen me drop 100 pounds. You have. I have. You actually look pretty cute. Thank you. You want to go out on a date? Thank you. Well, look at She Good. thought it was cute, too. Yeah. Matt Birch is here to say hi. Hey, man, how are you? No. Yeah, the the re no the repo Operation Repo Matt Birch. Oh wow! That's Matt. Hey, Matt what's up, Matt? Hurry, buddy. He's got a great show called Matt Matt Birch POV. How come I haven't been on the show? Well, he hasn't had me on the show Matt, yet either. What the hell? What's wrong with you, Matt? Okay, dude. Joshua T. Bergen. He's on. Yeah. He's a cool dude, man. He's so totally cool. into clean skin, toxic free skin, toxic free. So am I. Skin. I need to okay, quit stuff like now. this. Now let's let's talk because about why you're here. Kills. Hold on a second. All right, if I let yeah, you have it, I'm here. no, you're not here to yes. talk about that. But you are, in essence, because we are but talking about plant life. No, listen, we are talking it about plant, plant life. And and here's the thing. Well, and you did, you did. Hold on a second. You did a recent documentary, and that's what I Several. want to talk about. The one about the destruction of, of the rainforests. Mm -hmm. Because, folks, I don't know if you know too much about the rainforest. I did some preliminary information here about the rainforest, and they're, 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 they they are tearing and destroying thousands and thousands of kilometers of rainforest every single second that we are living. Every right single in. day. Every day. In fact, Including they're holidays. saying 40 years from now, 40 years from now, there will be no more rainforest on the planet Earth. And that means our oxygen is gone. And that means we all die. And that means the depopulationists got us. They won the game. People like Gates, depopulationists. People like Rockefeller, like George Soros. Don't you get me wrong. They're all connected together to depopulate the Earth. And one of the ways they're doing it, not just cutting the trees down for the wood, not oh, just getting no. the good water, not just killing the plants and the animals and the insects and the life, not, not, for, not for anything else, but they're doing it to kill the oxygen in the air. And that's what the rainforest is about. So tell me, why did you, how did you get involved 
in doing this, this documentary about the rainforest and tell us a little bit about it. Well, I've always been a humanitarian since birth. Um, I came out of the womb one, I think. I actually was born into the book of who's who's for politics and world leaders. I come from generations of people who have been effing up this planet. Right. And I knew by the time I was five, I didn't want to be part of any of it because I had presidents and senators and heads of nations and countries sitting in our living room. And, and I would hear spin control. Well, we need to get some spin control on this, which is just another way to say, how do we lie about this? And religion and politics, none were invented by God, are all spin control to control the population. If people got into spirituality and got into stop invading other space and learn how to coexist and stop all of this race, color, creed, gender bullshit, because it is. Right. My is. God doesn't color code. Come on. It My is God this. doesn't say, oh, it's a white lie, it's okay. I was, Absolutely. Yeah, I was saving you. Oh, fuck you. You're not saving look, me look, from look, anything. Look. I, I didn't even know anything about that until I was 14 or 15 years old. I knew I about mean, it because they were pushing you know, me right I, up the seminary see, to seminary to be in the I, Catholic I, Church with I, all of those I couldn't crazy tell, people. I could not tell from 74 to 75 whether you were white, black, green, pink, or, or had purple polka dots. It didn't matter to me. It didn't matter to my family. It didn't matter I to our friends. I Motown you know, and drug, you know, sex, it, rock it, and roll and Black Panthers. But LAUSD imposed this upon us. LAUSD, LA Unified School District, imposed this, this little card upon us in 1974 at Homeland class, yep. and all of a sudden we had to be black, Busing. we had to be Mexican, we had to be Asian, we had to be white, or we had to be other. All of a sudden, yes. there was never any of that up to that point. And see, they don't have one that says Mutt or Heinz 57, because no. that's a box I would take. My got family's fucked with everybody look, for look, look, I got in great trouble, and here's why I got and in I great trouble. And I our first, first cousins who are part Japanese. Brother, I sent the card back, and they said other, I said American. Right? Then, then the card came back to me the next day at homeroom in, in Burr Junior High School in 1974. And I, I, I wrote, wrote other, USA citizen. And then it came back to me again and I said, Mr. and Mrs. Terrero's son. Then it came back to me again, boy. Then it came back to me again, God's, God's creature. Then it came back to me again with a note, go see the principal. I didn't get that many shots. After about the first or second one of Catholic schools, they said to write to them. So here's my mother, the wisdom of my mother. Uh, Mr. Quinlan, who I used to forge his signature right. and charge everybody 25 cents or 50 cents in 1974 when they were late, I, I could forge signatures. Oh. I was really good at it. Hey, Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, uh, 25 or 50 cents in 74. That was good money for a 14 year old. Yeah, that'd be worth 250 bucks at least. You know, anyhow, so hey, you can't tell anybody. Powervoices.com. We're right here at www.thepowervoices.com with Kirk Kelly. We're talking about his, his uh, new documentary about the Amazon, but we're also talking a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff. The show's all over the place, well, but we, stay with us. We have several documentary films on Rainforest. The Amazon and Black Jaguar Foundation are two that I've been working with, and I've been working on the Amazon for over 30 years. But I started to realize as I started working with some of the top biologists and ecologists and environmentalists on the planet from Greenpeace to Save the Whales, that, and I'm part of all of those, not publicly. Do I support them with private donations and footage and other stuff? Absolutely. You have to understand, I'm the same guy who's already served three life sentences in foreign prisons for our country doing the right thing. And Wait a minute, explain that one. Well, you three life sentences, yeah, you're doing the right thing. What are you doing here? If Between we, well, possibly my doing longest summer. life sentence the last five days. The oh. first one was 36 hours. You know, when you're in a foreign country and you know how to use Intel like I do. Right. Because I've trained a lot of people on I invent technology. I'm usually, as Jeff Holm, who is one of the best um, special effects and directors in, in, in Hollywood these days out of Milwaukee, uh, Jeff and I worked together since the 90s, since before Titanic even. And, and Jeff has always said, I'm usually 30 years ahead of technology. I see where we need to go. And so I've been secretly, you know, I help, if you look at the Mars Pathfinder mission, I help do those broadcasts. And I told them before we crashed the servers at the Smithsonian, we didn't have enough bandwidth, and we ended up crashing the servers, because no one was expecting a 56 dial-up that you'll get a billion hits a, a second. Uh, and so they had to bring in the White House and DOD and other things to support it. I know, and I pioneered the first live broadcast over the internet in high definition a couple of years ago using a technology out of Istanbul from a hotel room in a Hilton back to Hollywood and live with less than a half a second, uh, millisecond delay. 
So I've been on the cutting edge of technology. So tell me about years. the Amazon and why the Amazon? Why well, did you pick that one? That one was first because I've always why? had the fascination to go to Brazil, and so we actually started that series. And they cut down ago. about two million, about oh, two more million more than kilometers. More than that. Uh, the, the corridor that is longer right now, probably than crossing the entire United States. As of five years ago, it was from like really from Houston to Boston. That corridor. I read somewhere last night that they're cutting down so much rainforest in the Amazon region, the size of the state of New Jersey oh, every no, it's, year. It's, it's actually larger than that now. And if you look at Muratus, which is the one we're doing in Indonesia, the Muratus Rainforest in Dubai, and also the Final Cut, which are two other films we're working on, and television. We've shot so much footage to document illegal black trade, animals being slaughtered. There's a reason why there's only one white rhino left and he will never reproduce because he's too old and he's in captivity. Because we, you know, somebody has them on their wall or on their floor or they want the tusks or the iron. Well, they just can't be doing that just for the wood. They're doing it for the sports. They take people out hunting on expeditions who have a lot of money and they take them into these back jungles and I saw them. these pictures. And we have of, footage of this. I saw these pictures online. And local and I, law enforcement. I also watched your video clips. The final cut one? Yeah, the video clips well, about this. Well, then you see law enforcement freaking and, out. They didn't even want to bring our camera crews in. Forest just decimated. For forest? Miles it looks and like giant and Chinese wasteland. It's unbelievable. With burning and timber Don't they animals. realize that that part of the planet, is that the, equatorial region, is what is the filters? Lungs? Is it what filters our oxygen? And our water. Everything. And if we had trampled on that little violet about five years ago in one of the other rainforests, right? we would have not found the cure for children's leukemia and cancer. If we would just slow the F down, we haven't even discovered 99.5% of the potential cures and remedies in the rainforest. You see, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. We've already destroyed over... It, Probably 50% of the rainforest are on the they, in they, the last 50 years. I long. was reading that they don't even know how many insects and animals we and don't. plants. We knew that there was that a possibility of about 10 million life forms after Extinction 5. Now, hang on. I said Extinction 5. Okay. For those of you who are gullible enough to read and believe that the pyramids were built by people dragging rocks on poles and stuff up, come on. How did they cut the rocks first? Right. To get them that geometrically. Right. Well, there's technology we don't, we don't this know This is about. the fifth extinction. There have been other life forms on Earth that we may not have unburied yet because they're buried so deep. But the point is, we're doing it again. In it Extinction 6, we built these underground cities for the upper elite. There you we go. put all the resources down there, there they go. need to coexist right. underneath the there. upper elite. The cities exist. I've been to right. New York, they're here in LA. They're UMBs, plan text under Amarillo, the little city yes. in Butthole, Texas. How about the it's giant 60 aquifer? 60 miles wide. How about the giant aquifer under the Dakotas that they're filtering Lake Michigan, Washington through a giant pipeline into the and aquifer? And this is not conspiracy theory, folks. Um, I'm not a civilian. Sorry. I wish I was born a civilian. I was born well, in I'm a government. Well, I'm a civilian. And I'm not I a government employee. I'm a contractor. Right. I'm the guy they bring in when they can't have their hands attached to it, or when things need to be handled because they know I know so much. I don't get a choice in this. When your government says you must, the consequences are you can do 35 to 100, you can pay them $10 million for the privilege of being bent over, which is, a, I've talked to several attorneys, including the U.S. attorney, who told me that was abuse of power by the FBI and other agencies. I didn't, I didn't pay for it. No, I have so, been paid as a government contractor for being the voice of everything. Let me just ask you a quick question. Ask because I'm declassified. Hypothetically, your worst enemy on the planet. Okay. Would you share 60% of your intel with them? No. Okay, then why is 60% of U.S. intelligence sitting on bowl of servers in, Pac in the capital city of Pakistan? I'm just saying. Probably the More same. More than Probably the same reason why they're cutting down. Uh, hundreds of thousands of acres of yeah, rainforest. Because there is no such thing as terrorists. The CIA funded ISIS, and so did 13 other countries. Right. Turkey being one of them, Australia. I can go down the list. It's all researchable, and when you find the stuff online from Snowden and other people, they aren't making this stuff up. They're putting their ass on the line to let you know it. We have footage, whether I live or die, that will serve us. In fact, Careful, guys, because the example of what came out on the Bush family while I was in Texas with that little car ride that you saw right. was one of the password-coded things, and if I don't recode on time, somebody can just let it float up in the world. So there are other things starting to service. There are meetings that so, I've had with so, government agencies that so got posted while I was in jail impersonating myself in Texas. Your documentary 
that yes. they can find online. Look for the Final Cut movie. Movie. About the rain. Yeah, in my name, that'll bring it up. Okay. Uh, and also, Maratus, M E R A T U S, Maratus Rainforest Should Not Die. There's a group that has like 3,000 plus people on Facebook. There's a like page on Facebook. There's Maratus Rainforest Do Not Die, Should Not Die.com. Also, Disaster Relief Inc.org, which is a charity I started 16 years ago, and we just raise money to help people out around the world. and don't make a lot of noise about it. See, I've done Live Aid, Farm Aid, Kool Aid. I've done every major event that there has been for charities around the planet. Silently, this time I'm stepping up. Oh no, Rock for the Americas was one where I got a war stop for four days in Central America because I demanded by shipping millions of dollars in from the benefit because I produced it. The White House and the UN get a ceasefire in Central America for four days with UN peacekeeping troops, and that was something I actually got. I don't know if any president's gotten a ceasefire for four days, but I did. Being out there, when you were out there floating around that boat, that raft, going up in, into these tributaries and seeing the destination that's done, uh, the people that are around you that were on these expeditions with you are putting this together, what, what are their feelings about what they're seeing in their own countries? Well, uh, first off, on some of these shoots, I haven't actually been on those shoots because I've been shooting literally around the world. Some of these shots were done when I was done in India by other crews because right. I run several companies around the world, live video and being right. one of them. And, and I produce a lot of stuff for my clients. Like, what is the feedback that you get? The feedback, by the locals some of it, we're putting in. We're putting it well. We're putting it in films. If you look at the final cut, you're actually right. seeing the biologist. And we open it up right. with one guy who's been going there for 30 years, talking about how it's just been completely decimated. The old guy in the chair, yes. who yeah. has been visiting that country for years, mm -hmm. and the locals that you can get to talk to you, most are in such tormented fear. And there's language barriers. When you're dealing with the people from the inner jungles, mm -hmm. they don't speak our languages. We don't speak their languages. So there's a translation problem there also. So we have, what we have here is we have around the globe. I mean, how do you communicate it, it, with headhunters? Around the globe, in the center of the globe, because this is where the equatorial in India, and tropic regions in are at. In okay, around Brazil, the center yeah. of the globe is where the rain where the is and the heat is. and the humidity, okay? We're tearing this stuff down, destroying things we don't even know. The Amazon alone provides 30% of the Western medicine right now, 30%, yeah, 25 to 30% of medicine, water, and food source for the Western Hemisphere. What about the oxygen? That doesn't include what's being pulled out to China or other countries. That doesn't include the, China, the, the air we're decimating. Here's a thought. If we legalize cannabis, which we know is cures, and the reason it was sure, made illegal in the United States right. was because of Levi realizing right. that hemp was stronger than cotton and they could right. control the cotton market and right. not the hemp market, and that. also because Dow realized it was yeah. stronger than nylon. Yeah. There were a lot of people who lobbied to keep it up. Yeah. But we know, and also Eli Lilly, because Christ, if you can grow your own cures, you don't need to, right. we need you on the tip. Here it happens medicine that cause sudden convulsions, blindness, well, and the directions of are, are, are Major problem. Dude, I've read so many of these things over the years, and God bless you for the jobs, folks, but let's get honest. If you have something that's going to cause possible sudden death, why do you want to sign up for that? Okay, so tell me why, in your point of view, why are they destroying the forest? Why are they destroying cures well, we don't even know about? Because why are they not letting cures they we know may about know Tell me about why. the cures. Let's look at the facts that there were certain people who didn't, we don't have to name names, it's public record, who well, were Rock major celebrities who didn't months. die and got AIDS or some of these other diseases that everybody's dropping dead from and are still alive Poor today. Bars. If you have enough money, you can get the cure. But we don't Dutch want to make Empire. it available to the masses because shit, they're like they keep Asia. appropriating those damn people. Yeah. You see, we, didn't, we never get rid of slavery. Slavery was just changed. It was then called employment because now we can blacklist you. We can well, it's called credit. It's mentally. called credit and debt. Exactly. Debt. We can throw you in jail even and have you arrested for doing stuff. And now we don't have to house you. We don't have to feed you. We don't have to, and we can still fuck you. Come on, how many secretaries can say that their boss, you know, made it a condition of continued employment? I know it happened to me. At least I got a cheeseburger after that. Boy, you know something. You can't do that to me. Thank well, you. Well, I guess you're not getting a cheeseburger then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what if Look, it's a happy meal with a happy anything ending? Anything that he says is him saying it. Exactly. It's not me saying I take full responsibility Full responsibility for, for him. I always have. But see, I've always had the philosophy, be epic. If you're going to screw up, 
make it big so people remember your screw Here's up and learn something from it. Here's a philosophy. If you're going to make it good, make it big. I Why tell, do you I waste tell, it tell, I tell everybody this. I'm perfect, right? The brown right. beauty on duty. Jesse T, it's me. I can't help but being me, Jesse T, and I'm perfect. And people go, what do you mean you're perfect? Everybody makes mistakes. I said, you don't understand. I'm perfect. What do you mean you're perfect? Yes, I'm perfect. Don't you get the word perfect? I'm perfect. I'm perfect in everything I do. Yeah, yeah. You can't be. You're so vain and self-conscious and selfish and all. Blah, 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 blah. I said, no. When I mess up, I mess up perfectly. Thank you. I am the biggest perfect Dude, mess epic. up. That I, when I do something great, I do it perfect. But when I mess up, I do it perfectly. Thank you. So I'm perfect. Because you learn more when you have a big screw up. Oh, boy. And the embarrassment. And everybody's talking about it. And if you can't learn to laugh it off, it's not, it's not how you fall down. Do you know how many times you've heard right. it? Sorry, we're going to get into another segment get real quick okay. here. Um, www.thepowervoices.com. Jesse T. Show Live at 5 right here. Straight on the point today as you enter my world according to Torero. It's good to have you along with Kirk Kelly here. A man of many trades, a man of many thoughts, a man of many words. There's not many cats out there that can all talk Jesse T. But you know, when he gets in the picture, he and I have this joust back and forth. We're like knights jousting, jousting back and forth. The guy's got a lot to say, he's done a lot, he's got a lot of background, a lot of history, and uh, I definitely like the cause that he's fighting and trying to save the, the rainforest of the world because guys, without the rainforest, we lose our oxygen. And when we lose our oxygen, well, I guess we just cease to exist. I, I think we are corporeal subjects that need air in our lungs to breathe. Well, or get some gills. You know, we do have a lot of Pisces in the world. Yeah, that, that's true. We do, we do that. Yeah. But hey, check it out. Uh, download that app at, uh, for, your, for your Apple and your Android. Also, uh, go to our websites at www.aventertainmentlive.com or www.thepowervoices.com. We're streaming all the time on our digital broadcasting network, right here on the live stream Periscope. No, I eliminated Periscope. I don't like them anymore. Uh, YouTube Live, Instagram, Snapchat, also uh, on uh, YouTube, and uh, we're, we're going to get to that too as well, um, and start making that happen. So uh, we're out there in a lot of places, and it's good to have you along with us as we grow and grow and get, well, get more I, I, and more people this watching. This I've been on your show, and. and process of launching networks, so maybe we should sit down after the show sometime and talk about how we can put your show on right now. Well, we should do that. Yeah, we, we do do stuff. We, we do we do, do have a Roku, a Roku contract. Oh, nice. We have an Amazon contract. Yeah. We have a, a Verizon contract. We're negotiating Xbox Live, and we're, go, and we're negotiating Google and Apple right now. I caution you to be careful with AT&T. <laughs> Well, you know, what, what can you do? Uh, I mean, so I'm in, in federal court, actually, yes, in the process that's true. of doing All that. right, so... They deplete the rainforest, yes. okay? Let's kind of tie this off because there's some other things I want to chat with you in my limited time. Yep. Um, they deplete the rainforest. They kill it off in 40 years. That's what all the projections be less than that, on actually. all the websites that you type up, the, the, the destruction of the world rainforest. It'll be less than that. Okay, now I'll tell you what. we have no more oxygen. Our air is polluted completely. Okay, at that time. Well, we sell air like we sell water. We're, we're not filtering. Ah, so we're we're air air not air. filtering anything. Oh, so, so air. what happens in your estimation? Well, I actually have footage we haven't released yet with uh, UN officials admitting they've known how to stop global warming for 50 to 100 years. The reason they haven't is they've been too busy making money off it. One, two, they didn't think they'd live this long, the old guys. Three, <coughs> and more importantly, they already have these underground cities already built for themselves. So when this goes sideways, they've already got a place for them and their heirs to go, like the Rothschilds, etc. Um, you got to have a lot of money to get in on this you ticket. And then, yeah, Bill or, Gates is in on this ticket. No, he, he probably would be in the servant category. Servant in this, in this series. No, because you're talking about guys with five hundred trillion dollars. Oh, more than that. Yeah. In the U.S. alone, according to my inside sources at the Department of Justice, they know that in the U.S. alone. The Rothschilds control seven hundred trillion dollars in assets. And that's from dirt control. to air. That's from the dirt to the sky. Okay. Everything. They they're the biggest weapon manufacturers, the biggest black market manufacturers of blood diamonds. Oh, animals, they run gold engines and play. Oh yeah. Always. 
And there are also the people who repossessed your landmarks in Greece and other countries because they're foreclosing on everyone to yeah. seize more assets. They That's when they crushed the market. They down. created the central bank system, the fiat bank. financial system, where they own every central bank in the world. Well, and they were there naming the gold prices when the gold commodities started. In London. Yeah, when you when you do your homework and you open your eyes and get out of the box. It's not conspiracy theory. No, especially when you grow up in the rooms with these people talking and you hear them admitting it. So what happens when the rainforest is destroyed? Well, um, they're already projecting, according to the people I interviewed from the UN, the, the footage that they've threatened to kill me if I release. Uh, and the CIA's told me, you know, I'm on the most keep this guy alive list and the most kill this fucker list. Um, the reality is that... Um, they realize sea levels are going to raise between one to three hundred feet in the next fifteen to twenty-five years alone, and that the, the thing we saw with Patricia about a year and a half ago right. is only the tip of what we're about. Let, to let see. me explain what that means. Patricia, Here, for a lot of Patricia, don't look at the NASA shots. Google Kirk Kelly NASA and Patricia Hurricane. You'll see a eye in the hurricane. Let it me, looks like Mother Earth's eye pissed off with red and black. And let me talk about the rising of the sea levels real quick because. For those of you who don't live in Southern California, as we broadcast all over the globe from the community to the world, you might be in Tennessee, you might be in Illinois right now, you might be in North Carolina, you might be in if Oklahoma. If you're in New Orleans, you know what we're talking Okay. When you talk about here in Southern California, the rising of the sea level, the sea levels, the basin of Los Angeles is at sea level. Thank it's you. about It's about four feet higher than the Pacific Ocean. Literally. Four feet high. I live at twelve hundred okay? feet for a reason. And so, and so, and so, what what happens there is, yeah, I probably need a power backup on it. So, so what happens? Uh, I come prepared. I have one in my box Ooh, over here. That's what she said. Yes. So anyhow, if the rise of the ocean at Santa Monica Beach or Venice Beach or Redondo Beach goes up just a little bit, we're talking four feet. That's four feet. Now we're at five. Run it the water will come in all the way to East Los Angeles. Oh, easily. Okay, now let me give you a perspective. The LA folks. River won't run it off quick enough. Let me give you a perspective here. You're talking 14 miles inland in a matter of seconds to East LA. Then you're going to go to a rise of about 50 to 100 feet above sea level. If the water comes in 10 feet, from the Pacific at Ocean. At the speed it'll be coming in it, at. It'll be coming in. It with the Pacific slow. Ocean pushing that mass forward fast, it'll wrap around what is now the Hollywood sign. So when you go on the internet and you see the Hollywood sign in Hollywood, that's Hollywood Hills. That's a Hollywood mountain. Mount oh, Hollywood. Where is that up there? At, no, no, that's no, no, uh, 500 feet. feet. That's only 500. 500 feet. Wow, I okay. at, That's why I can see it. Yeah, I okay. Feet. So it comes. The San Fernando Valley, I'm sorry, I apologize, Mount Hollywood is a thousand yeah, feet. I thought it was a thousand. The San Fernando yeah, Valley, it'll come around the San, into the San Fernando and the San Gabriel Valley. That eyes will be covered. We're, we're 400 feet, three to 400 feet above sea level at Panorama City. So Burbank. That'll be lakefront property. You got it. Yeah. All right. So or we're, seafront. So now, if the water hey, don't forget rises, stuff that'll come in through uh, Ventura and up by uh, that whole military base up there. Yeah, so you see, what we're talking about here is we're talking about end of civilization as we know it. Well, New York's not even no, it, 15 it, feet above the sea East level, Coast unless you even, live at 100 stories. The East Coast is even worse. Yeah. Okay, so, anyhow, so... Miami. So, the rainforest is destroyed. There's no more oxygen or it's depleted. Well, you have to realize with all this warming, we're also releasing toxins on the planet that have been sealed in iceberg for who knows how long. And we're not equipped for those new diseases that are now starting to be exposed. Yeah. Yeah. Ebola could have been something that came from somebody bringing something from one of the poles. Well, here's a, here's a, here's a thought. We don't know. Here's a thought. The dinosaur age that lasted 100 million years, Okay. Only 100 million? Only 100 million. By our best guess, by the way, the folks. Dinosaur this is our age, best guess. The last dinosaur is the Jurassic period, when it was destroyed by, by some believe an asteroid, some believe a meteor, some believe a lot of things, whatever. It doesn't matter. The dino, those creatures were huge. You've seen the bones in Mammoth. the museums. Their Mammoth. lungs and were if the you size. Been to museum their there. lungs were the size of semi trucks. Or redwood trees. So the oxygen on the Earth, we know scientists have it's said, much is much, much more oxygen on the Earth per how they measure oxygen per scale. Okay, so much more oxygen that you and I 
living in that period, we wouldn't be able to survive. Well, no, we wouldn't have been able to survive. It was too pure. It was too pure. Those big animals had it to. Was not those carbon. reptiles had to have that kind of pressure in the oxygen to help their lung capacity move. Right. Because and they to didn't be have eating to, the enormous amount of vegetation right. they were eating. They had to have that lung. So, so what gets trapped in the in Antarctica? In those blue lakes and those blue ice, real deep right. at the bottom of the and earth. What dinosaurs were trapped in the ice age that we don't even know about yet that haven't been say unearthed? So the understand. point is, so we have the depletion of the rainforest. We have global warming naturally. I argue that it's more natural than man-made, but that's another time. We can discuss that it later. It was. It was up okay. until the last 50 years when technology okay. started fracking and oil and gas. Well, shot. I don't know about you, but I like fracking. Oh, well. Yeah, I just don't frack enough. Yes, it depends on what your name is. You know, I got to do some long. freaking fracking. Mm. I got to do some, some freaky fracks. You should come to the party tonight. There's gonna be I got to do some freaking fracking on Friday. Okay, by the way, these are not mental institutions. Okay. These are like VIP. I got to do freaking fracking like on Friday. Having fun. Fall oh, I've got some good parties. There's some mansion parties tomorrow night. Mansion parties? Some of these mansion parties are going to I'll give myself in trouble if I go to mansion, mansion parties. parties. I have never been thrown out of a mansion party yet. Well, you haven't been with G, me, just. <laughs> I've been thrown out of some great clubs. Okay, look at it. But that's going to be that video on this is my This is my hypothesis and my, my thought about why they're destroying the rainforest. Indiscriminately way beyond the need of why we need the wood and all the natural resources. Right. They're destroying it because I believe it's population that, that, that at the highest level, the, 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 population, the, de the population of the planet Earth, the, the, the populationists like Bill Gates, it's faster than like one. his father, it's faster than one. the Rockefellers, okay, they want to get rid of at least half of the human population. You understand, in the next two hundred years, with Grand Central Station alone. For those of you who don't believe about these underground cities, if you grow a set, I want you to go beneath the tracks on the north side of Grand Central Station, the lower tracks. Sneak onto the tracks and walk down about a half a mile or so, and go down through one of those tunnels. Which which city? You Grand Central New York. Grand Central oh yeah, Station, New yeah York. Okay. And you can get into the tunnels and start going down. Get a homeless person; they can show you. Ask more than mole people. Do. And I had people take me down 20 stories underneath Grand Central Station. I saw guards and cities and stuff going on with big trucks and crane elevators. That could oh well, look at look at look at look at look at look at these are real. Look, you go in, you go in the Shenandoah Mountains, okay? This is not conspiracy. You go, this is, you go in the you go into West Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. There are there are they have cut into mountainsides. Oh yeah. Where Mount Rushmore was an experiment. They have cut into mountainsides. Where they have railroad systems and the, they have, the, they have the, roads the, and freeways. The have opening vehicles. of the warehouse door, which is that mountain being excavated, open, makes semi trucks, 18 and 22 wheel semi trucks, look like little Hot Wheels. Go look at Google Earth. And it, look, it, it's right there. Go look at Google Earth. And they don't care if you shoot them. Zoom it. in on Amarillo, Texas, those two things that look like big corn silos in downtown. Right. Except if you've been there, you know corn, no, they brought to hell with it. Those are missile silos. Right. Those will open up and launch out a rain of hell fury. If there's ever hell on Earth, it's going to be right out of Amarillo, Texas. So, so when you look at why they're doing it, my hypothesis has always been is to destroy human life. Okay, well let's take it even a step further. The Communist Manifesto said they would not take us over by war, they would take us over by our own war of decay. And our government, the Senate Republicans, made $9 trillion on the jobs they exported to all the factories they owned in the foreign countries. $9 trillion in under declared income last year alone. If we did that, we'd be in prison. And they could repay half the national debt that way. They also enacted a law three and a half years ago called the Homeland Ready Preparedness. Oh boy! And if you go on oh boy. the web and Google that, it's on the White House, that's so it's scary. real. That's a scary. And that that's act scary. gives the president all the way up to the inauguration day, January twentieth, to declare martial law. Yeah, that's what Jay Young Even in the event of peace, so it really doesn't matter who you vote for in this election because no, they've already decided I'm they don't want Trump in office. Well, I'll argue with you. I think they do. No, they don't. The, the Illuminati doesn't want him in. The Rothschilds don't want him in. They can't control his dumb ass. No, I think they can't. Oh, I think they're going to just bitch slap him down. No, no, I think he's being told what to do. 
Okay, and then they got Hillary who can leak White House secrets on TV. And they don't want their, that's they, all. They, they don't want that. her. She's not going to. They win. actually wanted Jeff Bush. Well, but it didn't help when Mommy said he's my third favorite son. No, I know that. But see. With the second one up to run next. See, I idiot. think, I believe, I believe that, I believe that Trump, yes. I believe that Trump is being controlled. By, by the wrong Oh, absolutely. He's a, I, I would he's, doubt he's that knowing Donald. I, he's a pittance compared Donald to Donald I have met over the years and have interacted. On That's what I've always Remember said. Dallas, Donald? It doesn't really matter, man. It doesn't um, really matter. They're going to get what they get. Well, what matters the bottom is, line is, is that we on know earth is that we exist. should do does. And it, what matters is, is that we as a public, as citizenry, we, we should be educated I'm just in a way. curious, how is it that so that we, we understand. This is how our conversations go. 1%. Sometimes we listen to 99% of the Well, go figure it out. Why doesn't 99% wake the F up and say, you know what, because hey, you know what, we were all born on the same Dude, planet, we want our fair share, it goes and you back are now homeless. homeless. It goes back to the fall of Rome. It goes back to people being afraid. It goes back to the fall of Rome. It goes back before that. It goes back to people being afraid of God, being afraid God of God was a creation by man. Thank you. Okay. Well, I believe there's a God, but mine is a spiritual no, one, no, not one that's going to punish you. It's not a God that we have that, in our mind. No, it's more Come like on. a matrix God. No, if it, you it, screw it, up in this it's episode, an energy, matrix, it's a cheat. You're going to come that's back why I like, you know, I study martial arts because it's a cheat. It's the energy exactly. of life. It's the spark. It's the energy you put out. Right. But here's the point. The point is, we've got to do something. At least go out swing. At least go out trying to fight this. Well, we can. And, and this is why... I wanted but you it on takes the show. people taking action. And this is why I wanted you on the show tonight. Oh. Today is because tonight on the East Coast is because I knew I knew this conversation would turn out like this. Okay. Okay. Because when we get together, that's sort of what happens. It gets, it, it, it's like trying to find. It's like going to a bar or a barber shop. The two guys just start. Blah, 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 blah. That's what happens. Well, but when you are high level thinking, not high. Well, I may be high physically, I'm not high mentally. I don't get weed to get stoned. I get weed to take care of the fact that I'm right now sitting with you with multiple fractures from an assault and, and head trauma from a concussion where somebody beat the shit out of me in Hollywood, took my watch, took my phones, and took my ID. According to the Federal Trade Commission, I am one of the most impersonated people on the planet. There, there's a now I found out from Hollywood PD, a Kirk Gregory Kelly, born on the exact same day as me, and another Kirk Kelly that lives on Circumar Street, and wherever you assholes are, got me those charges down in uh, San Diego and in Van Nuys and other shit. The feds know it's not me, I know it's not me, you know it's not me, and you know how many sets of fingerprints I probably have on file and DNA samples? It's ridiculous. Well, what? you know, you know, I had a lot of the DNA. That are I had a lot of DNA samples us in out life. There. Don't. Wait a minute! I had a lot of DNA samples out there before I was married. Uh, uh, no, no. But the things that are supposed to protect us in life don't. We have criminals with badges who abuse their power in law enforcement. We have attorneys who are corrupt and can be bought off for the right price to tip, tip a trial or, or things. Justice isn't justice unless you can afford it. We need to get no, justice a two -tier for justice. just us. Everybody, two -tier. Not tier. Oh, yeah. two tier justices. If you don't afford, always has been. Yeah, if you Come on, right money, you can kill Jordan you. Maxwell talks about the justice of the planet, and it's called maritime law, the law of the sea. Well, when you get okay. people in your own like government Jordan Maxwell. killing your presidents, which has happened, when they this executed, country. they didn't kill them. They, they executed. executed. Yeah, I've been there. Who killed JFK? Well, it was ordered by by George Bush Senior when he was running the CIA. When Nixon got pissed off and Agnew over the fact that they lost to Kennedy in 59, they got the other inspired and Bin Laden was hired in 59. Bin Laden himself is actually not dead. They killed his brother and brought his brother's body back. Oh, that's why they dumped him in sea. Yeah, that's why they dumped him in sea because they didn't want the DNA samples compared because then they'd know for sure. See, I, I've always him. felt that Bin Laden was killed mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the caves of Tor Bora. No. Okay. He's still alive. He's still working for the CIA and ISIS. Well, how old is Bin Laden? 85? Uh, how old is George Bush? 85? Yeah, Bin Laden's probably a little younger. I think he's in his upper 70s. I think Bin Laden was a younger recruit for Bush in 59. Well, that's an interesting twist. I've always felt that. The paperwork's there. It's I, I've, I've always felt that. But the reason they killed the Warren Commission and didn't let it come out in 50 years is because he's still alive. See, I've always felt that Daddy Prescott, Prescott Bush, the, the one that was well, he he the, was the original arms runner back sure. in the eighteen. He also he also want no 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 he wasn't. He was, well, yeah, he was born. That's right. He was no, he he was too old, too young. Then. 
but he laundered oh, Nazi money. Great, great he laundered Nazi money, and he was a, he was a, a founder of Union Bank. Okay. Ah. Prescott Bush. Well, and don't forget that Bush, Bush, our second president, was at Kennedy's shooting. I mean, execution. The first Bush president was standing on the steps of the of the hospital, hospital. when the ambulance arrived. And when the ambulance How left, ironic, the CIA guy was right at the right hospital. steps. Yeah. When the ambulance left, when they switched left. the body, when they switched the body. Yeah. So the that's what I, I always, I always felt that Kennedy was multiple shot eight to nine times from eight to nine different wounds. Oh, look at okay. one of my favorite terrorists is calling right now for the show. Okay, that's cool. I like that. But anyhow, so Martin Luther King. Well, he was also taken out because, again, he was he represented change. The thing that people don't realize is the FBI and other people, and I know this directly from talking to the FBI, um, they aren't doing what you think they're doing. They have certain stand-down orders that things they used to investigate years ago, they've been told by current administrations and past, they can no longer do. So there are certain stay-away zones, and that's in the stay-away zone. But Martin Luther King and humanitarians or activists like yourself are higher priority for the FBI to watch and observe and monitor for the upper echelon because you might actually affect people's spending habits or voting habits and how they support the system or not. So you're more important to them than the terrorists because they're actually subsidizing that and they're putting the, the, can you say Halliburton? Halliburton. Halliburton from Texas. Um, who made the most money off of that war aside from the Rothschilds would be Cheney. Cheney. Yeah. Hey, we're back up on Facebook so Live. Well, and we'll, we'll, we'll be also back up on YouTube. And we're, 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 we're on Paul Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. We've been up all the time. We'll bring you back with all these stories. But right. let me, so Bobby Kennedy, real quick as we come to the end of the show. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Kennedy, Kennedy again was going to be a threat because he had already been Attorney General and he was picking up where his brother left off. And JFK Jr. was actually ordered hit. They whacked him. Yeah, he was ordered hit because he was about to announce he was going to run for U.S. Senate. And, that and Hillary, thrown off Hillary, Bush, Hillary Clinton. That would have thrown off Bush and the Clinton's plan. Because she wanted to be right. senator. He and to ironically, president. the day before yes, Kennedy yes, Jr.'s yes, plane yes, took off, yes. Senior and Junior Bush were yes. seen at the same airport yes. at the same terminal where Kennedy yes, stuff was being yes, 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 yes. I mean, there's yes, photographs of this stuff, guys. Yes, 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 you can't suppress all of this shit. And there's enough documents floating around. And by the way, if you do whack me, you're going to have videos surfacing like a motherfucker. So let me ask you, how do we stop the killing of the reinforcements? Well, we have to start to realize we have to stop throwing shit away. If you don't want the furniture, let somebody else have it donated and start to get into sustainable living and recycle. Recycling is not enough. With all the landfills, if we started digging stuff up, I'm sure we could find furniture and clothes and stuff that's been in plastic bags for half a century. This is still in mint condition. You'll find Guido Gallomenci, too. Yeah, you may even find where Al Capone hid the money. And you might even yeah, find where Hoff is at. Recycling is not enough. People have no, to that's what I said. We have to have a They have to start going through man. these landfills and seeing what we can pull back out and make them sustainable for living, that we don't have to keep raping the lands or over-polluting by, you know, over-genociding animals so we can eat them with steroids up the ass. If we don't get off all these synthetics, you're going to see disease and people starting to just drop dead of heart attacks, stroke, cancer, or sudden erections, or whatever, at much more rapidity than we already see now. Stop drinking milk and stop eating meat. Hello. You were not born from another. You were not born to suck on another. Yet we eat udders from goats, let, cows. Let me tell you something. You're putting those you chromosomes into your body. I'll tell you something right here. We no wonder we sleep with animals now. Okay, look, on a cow, we have the tits. Yeah, right? Well, right they're there. called udders. Yeah. Well, they're, they're called udders. Yeah. Right? Udders. You call women. I'm going to call them tits. Because okay. when you're on the farm, you just grab that yeah, tip. You grab a tip. You grab a tip right. and you squeeze it like this, okay? Yeah. Right? Right? And then you have the rectum. It's right there. Yeah. And they don't usually scrub those tits really clean before they start to they slap on the machine. And Milk, products, and and meat have to go. All right, look, we just had a potpourri thrown at you today, a conversation with Kirk Kelly. And but we Jesse haven't lied T. about anything. I haven't inflated anything. You haven't inflated anything. The things we're talking about are all researchable, verifiable. The stuff Snowden and some of these other extremists are talking about are trying to let the world know are only the tip of the iceberg of what's really there with this evil empire. www.thepowerforces.com. 
right here Monday through Friday from 5 to 6. Make it's sure a Jesse T show, live at 5, straight on the point. The world according to Torero. Thanks a lot, Kirk Kelly, for checking in. Thanks for having me. Thanks a lot for, for, uh, for, uh, for uh, getting that information about the rainforest. Guys, we got to do something about that because without oxygen, we're going to die. And without good food and water sources, we're going to die. <coughs> so that's saying. what it's all about, okay? So I'd like check to us eat out. Well, breathe well, and drink well. Tomorrow, we got a great show lined up for you, 5 to 6. Got some music coming in. It's Fun Time Friday. Also got a uh, charitable event we're going to be talking to you about tomorrow, so that's going to be kind of cool. And we're going to get them to come to some of these wild-ass parties and get them to go like a rock star. Well, hey, buddy, they come with me every night. Nine to ten. They come with you? Whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of show are you running? Really? They come with you. C O M E, buddy. Follow me. I think I just got myself come, in trouble. Come, come. I'm not going to have you on the way. show anymore. What do you mean? You said come. I didn't I'm spell not, it with you. Not gonna, I said I C O M E. Yeah, I didn't what? spell it with you. You didn't? No. You? I, what about you? You spelled yeah. me? Come you, where? What? Come, come together what? right now. Yeah, come together yeah. right now. Over me. I mean, folks, you know, the over I gotta go. This is over, getting, this is just over me. See, I, I like when they're on the side. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Or, you know, reverse cowgirl or something like that. The power of voices.com. Jesse Terrero. The brown beauty there. is off to <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Wahoo. Wow. And now you get the whole thing here, so if you want, I can shoot you yeah, a copy that you yeah. put up on YouTube. Yeah, shoot it to me. Bro. That's fucking funny. Oh, we got it here too. Yeah. We got 54 here. We I, got I ran out. There. I didn't have enough juice in my battery. Yeah, I already thought I did. Well, oh well. The reason I asked you if you have PayPal is because I got these new cards, and I was going to run to the pharmacy and get some more herb for the party tonight. Oh. And the cards are defective, and they got to ship me a new card. But oh, I yeah, I don't have. I can send the money over to you via PayPal. I can send it to his family and friends. Who get I don't even know what my PayPal account is. Oh, it's I not use it your so, email? I use it so I was hoping you, you would know it. I'd send you the money and say, hey, could you go to the ATM? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. Not, I wouldn't even know how to start that. Oh, uh, you bitch. Could you look it up? Would you? Uh, or or could you loan me a few bucks until, uh, until tomorrow and then I'll pay you back? Because I, I have other money coming in after midnight. Going to have to say no on that too. No, I'm, I'm, too. I'm, I'm, I'm out. Hey, what about going up to uh, the press club right now real quickly so we can get you your press ID? You're going to have to say no to that too. You said you were going to write him a check? You know, tomorrow on Friday I have an escrow closing. But you're going to write him a check and tell him to post it tomorrow. They won't take a check. Yeah, they will. I, I uh, went on their website and I called them. Called them and they said they wouldn't take a check. No, they want debit card, credit card, or cash. So, who did you talk to? Receptions. Well, then I got different information from the from the head of the press club. Did they'll take a check. Yeah. Even though, you know, I'll call over right now. And call over right now. Because I was of a completely different understanding. Um, Find your number. Jesus Christ, I talked to a lot of people. There it is, Anna. Anna Press Club. Let's call in and find out. I hope I didn't mess you up by smoking a drug next year. You know something, it is what it is. Did I mess you up? Me? Did you get high? I don't smoke. Hi, how are you? It's Kurt Kelly. Is this Anna? Uh, Diana. Uh, um, I was going to come up and pick up the press ID if someone's in the office, and also I was bringing another fellow press person with me who wanted to join. He wanted to know if you could write a check that you could deposit. No, I, I had no intentions. Uh, oh, I thought Jason told me he was going to be in there uh, up until like 7 tonight. Oh, okay.
Okay, what time will you be there tomorrow? Let's do it tomorrow. You'll be fine. Noon? Can you do it tomorrow at noon? So we'll take a check. Yeah, okay. 11 12. Yeah, so we'll, we'll run over and know that you won't be in until noon, so it has to be in. Okay? Alright, so we'll run over there tomorrow at noon. Oh, okay. Okay, terrific. Thank you, Lalo. I appreciate it. Is this is this your cell phone? Is this your cell phone? Um, there's an industry mixer going on tonight in Studio City. Do you want me to text you the details? I have some extra passes if you want to come. All right, darling. Well, if I give invitations like that, or to the MTV party, do you want stuff like that, or you don't want that? All right. So I'll, I'll send you something if you do. Mortified. Uh, she said she'll take a check since, since I'll watch for you. Yeah, so that's that's from Diana. 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 I don't know why I called her Anna because somebody like, fucking phone changed her name to Anna instead of Diana. Yeah, Diana Breslau, the night just hung up right now. So she said, yeah, tomorrow at noon. Okay. Uh, and she said, um, we can email Jason at Jason at Press Club. That was good, man. A lot of fun. It truly was. We should do that again sometime. We'll find uh, more things to talk about. Oh, there's lots to talk about. Oh, dude, seriously. Well, there must be more to know about it. That's a morning show right there. That's what that is. Oh, you know show. what? You know what? Um, I, I'm going to put you on the phone. You got a second? Yeah. What's up? I'm going to have you call a number right now. I'm going to get you in a second. Uh, did you say the other guy's name was Jason? Did I say Jason was the guy who talked to him? Number so you can key it in. Yeah, let's walk over from the car. What am I, your bitch now? Yeah, you're my bitch. Come on, bitch. Uh, where's your car? Right front. Right Mine's right here, and I've got multiple plugs so you can come and sit in my car and plug okay. in. Are you Android? Yeah, I got yeah, four so. plugs in my car. Oh, okay. So I got more than enough juice to run your shit, am I? Yeah, see, I, I come prepared. I have backups for backups for backups yeah. because I'm never down. Yeah. If I'm down, it's because someone took all my shit away. Yeah. Okay. When I show up on a set, I have multiple cameras, multiple computers, Me multiple too. Wi-Fi's. I have multiple everything. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Today's world with the way people jack shit. I have phones being sent to make somebody jack some of my other phones. Is this you? No, where are you? Right here. That's why I'm opening the door. Uh, no, somebody decided that I was a picking parts, and while I was in the Academy Awards, they took the fucking ass end of my car off. I came out and found they my took, ass end missing. They took your car apart? Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, each one of these are registered to your specific ID number, yeah. so they can reference it. Look at what the privilege this gives you that you don't have with your normal shit. Did you know you had those privileges with this press pass that I'm about to get you? No. Read that shit, dude. Uh, that's serious. Could you read it out loud, just for the record? Jesse, if you join me in the press club, 